So let me update you guys on the system that I uh, that I got so far. I'm not running anything on it right now, but this thing is the system is capable of running uh, 12,000 BTU AC. The last one was only capable of running uh, 6,000. So I got everything in a padlock because I have kids and uh, just in case. Got my 5,000 watt inverter from Jupiter. I got four batteries hooked up in parallel, I guess this is called. So I got positive to positive to positive to positive, negative to negative to negative to negative. One thing that was brought up in the comments is that yes, you cannot run your AC at night. You'll drain your batteries. Uh, these ones will probably drain within like 30 minutes. Even running a 6000 BTU AC and the 12,000. 12,000 I need to set up more panels in order to run it during the day because it's draining my batteries pretty quick during the day. So I gotta set up the rest of the panels. Right now I only got six up on the roof and the story on that is a little bit complicated but uh, I'll figure out a way. We're gonna get them all up there. I got a feeling I'm gonna need all of them to run the 12,000 BTU AC. But for the rest of the time, this thing runs power tools great. It run, you can run your LEDs at night. And, uh, you know, just little devices. They should be running just fine at night. This beast right here is awesome, though. So I bought this bench from Sam's Club. Because I, I figured it would make the perfect electrical box for me to store all my batteries uh, for one so I can lock it and the kids won't play with it and it's a little bit harder to steal <laughs> and I got this uh, this thing screwed through this board into uh, the bench and I brought some electrical uh, an electrical um, bar out here so I can uh, have power to my power tools and different things I want to use out here on the patio but it's coming out pretty awesome so far I still gotta clean up that hole as you can see I got a 10 gauge running inside 10 gauge extension cord in order to run my 12,000 BTU uh, floor unit that's the hole that I cut out in the back let's turn this sucker on there you go I'm still going to change this thing. I'm thinking about uh, getting an MPPT uh, charge controller. But, you know, I had money for it. I had money set aside for it, and then I ended up spending it on this bench because I couldn't set up... I didn't want to set up my uh, my new inverter out here without, you know, being able to lock it into place. Okay, so once again, I got this... Uh, this uh, extension cord, 10 gauge, 25 foot, hooked up to the 5,000 watt inverter outside, which is hooked up to the solar. And we're gonna plug in the AC to it. There we go, let's turn this thing on. This thing is awesome. We just bought this thing at Sam's Club. The only issue is when we're running it, we're running it all day. So at least this way, uh, when I get the rest of those panels hooked up, we could hook it up. We could run it off the grid during the day, and then when it comes nighttime, we'll put it back on the on the grid. We'll hook it uh, back up to a regular outlet. All right. You can see that where we're having the main issue is the charge coming from the solar.
this will start to drop down slowly and when that when this drops down to say a little bit below 11 11 volts it'll uh, it'll read it down there in the power inverter and then it'll shut it off right there showing me the volts we got going in as you see it was up higher now it's now it's down and we're only at three bars there and that third bar is flashing on the power going out which tells me we could probably run two of these two of those 12,000 BTUs on this inverter but we need more solar power and I got him going into this but I when I get back from my vacation I will I'm gonna upgrade this we're gonna have more panels up and I don't know this is gonna turn into a little hobby of mine I guess I'm gonna upgrade this as much as possible I definitely want to upgrade these connections here feel like I'm not getting enough power going into the batteries. Now when you connect these, it's the same as the inverter, you want to connect to, uh, oh that's hot, you want to connect the negative from one battery to the negative of the inverter from the negative of the opposite battery, and from the positive of the opposite battery to the positive of the inverter. And it's the same thing with the charger when you want to the um, solar. This is the power coming in from the sun. You want it to the negative of one and to the positive of the opposite side. Now the power inverter that I was using on the last video was this 2000 watt inverter. It could not handle the 10,000 BTU. Uh, AC that I have. And now we got a 12,000 and this 5,000 watt is running it. Now I could probably, I could possibly run, get it to run the 10,000 and the 12,000 BTU AC, but we'll have to figure that out later. It's going to be upgrading and adjusting my system little by little and uh, see how much I can do with this. Uh, go ahead and let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna go on vacation pretty soon here so I just wanted to update you guys on uh, what I got going on. And uh, I'm pretty sure I might have left something out but if I did you guys will, I'm sure you guys will let me know. So thank you guys for watching. Um, leave a like, comment, and uh, subscribe. We'll keep an eye on this uh, charge right now. Still running the 12,000 BTUs.